Okay, there we go. Let me adjust this here. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the movie car meet. Well, movie slash TV show car meet, but that's too long of a title for the stream. So, movie car meet. <laughs> what's up? What's up? So, we are here on the Walk of Fame in uh, GTA, fictional version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame in real life. Um, I guess they would you would call this what the Vinewood Walk of Fame, I assume. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Hi, mom. I'm on TV. <laughs> oh god, the chick hicks. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got a, a scene from the movie Cars down there. We got like five of them. So yeah, we'll show that here shortly. Well, that that's a thumbnail, but yeah. Wish I could have joined new gen. Yeah, it's only for new gen, unfortunately. I, I limited it to new gen. Um, I just couldn't deal with the 30 FPS anymore on old gen. I tried on PS4. I did it for a while, but I just can't anymore. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Series X and PS5 only, back and forth each week. What's up, what's up? How's everyone doing? I've been to the Walk of Fame. I have to! It was a long time ago, though. I went in, I want to say, 2012, around there? It's been a while. Been to Universal, and, uh... California, been to Disneyland, in, in Orlando it's called Disney World, and in the California it's called Disneyland. How old am I? I'm 25, currently. Waiting for dinner, nice, nice. Yeah, here, here's the car scene, I just had to show it, I mean look at this, oh it's so cool, so we got Boost, uh, we got The King, uh, we got Lightning McQueen, Chick Hicks, and Doc Hudson. <laughs> It's just, and they're all wearing the same outfit. That's absolutely incredible. That is awesome. Love that. Absolutely love that. We got a second Hermes over here. We got two Hermes in this one. Uh, and then we got a bunch more cars over here. Um, and then we also got, oh my god, look at that. I, I forgot that spawns there too. The Vinewood Tour Bus. <laughs> That's perfection. <laughs> I love that. The doc that got kicked to the curb. <laughs> I just, just didn't know they won. <laughs> Best thing <to> come. <laughs> oh my god. Well, if you have another car from Cars that comes to mind, you can change it for that if you want. <laughs> what we're really missing here is the... What would be cool is Snot Rod, the orange one. Probably use like a Hellfire for that or a regular Gauntlet. That'd be sick. Or you could even use the Gauntlet Classic too. Either one of those three. How many movie cars you saw IRL? I pretty much almost all of them except for the bad ones. <laughs> we got two Peter Griffins. We got Walter White by himself because Jesse got fired. <laughs> and uh, uh, Sleepy Goth over here as um, ah, Ford versus Ferrari GT40. I love that. Yeah. Rockstar never gave us a GT40, so he unfortunately had to use a bullet. 054 GT. Compromises we have to make because Rockstar won't give us the damn car. <laughs> Am I allowed to use tear gas? Nope. No, nothing at all because you can accidentally chuck uh, an explosive or um, even even tear gas does attract cops. So that's another reason too. We don't want the cops just ramming into all the cars, you know? So, yeah. Cars 2 is my favorite. Cars 2 is pretty good. They're gonna give us the Mark IV. Oh my god, no. The GT40 Mark IV. I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like the Mark III either, to be honest. Alright, so we're gonna start reviewing cars here shortly. Got all of them down the line here. Uh, now, something I want to mention here. Oh, I swear my messages are set to private. Because um, on Xbox, it's a little different. I'll try my best. Um, if you're watching the stream, as I'm getting close to your car, just put, you know, orange 10F is mine, uh, Tony Stark, you know, Iron Man 3, whatever, uh, in the stream chat. You know, just, just, as I'm approaching your car, don't do it yet, you know, just, let's say I'm reviewing this one, right? As I'm reviewing this one, go ahead and type in yours for, like, let's say your Bumblebee, for example. So I'm gonna go down the line here in order, but... 
Um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know most of these, but some of them, I, I, there's some of them that I don't know at all. So, <laughs> I'm assuming this is Tony Stark. I mean, the orange R8. I don't know from which one this is. Um, I want to say Iron Man 3. I, I can't remember. Um, Age of Ultron. Okay. Age of Ultron. Okay, so it, it's from Avengers then, not from not from Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man is still in there, but yeah, it's from Avengers then. Okay. So it's the orange R8. That's right, they did use the newer Gen 1. We have another... Another, uh... The King? Okay, well, park on the other end, dude, if you can. Next to, um... John Wick's car at the end over there, I think. Yeah, next to John Wick's car at the end. A little bit of stream delay, but... Alright. But love that build with the orange while the carbon looks sick. And he has the outfit, which looks amazing. <laughs> the money, oh my god. <laughs> very, very fitting of Tony Stark, for sure. I, I love the fact that we have both R8s in game, and I brought the one from the first movie, which I'll show on the other end over there, but love that. Oh, Nightbot put that. Let me go ahead and put that there, too, because we get the question a lot. Um, there we go. All right. Down here. Okay, so next up we got GMJ. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is um, from the second Iron Man. I think they had the NSX concept in there. Or, no, actually, it was Avengers, right? The first Avengers movie that had the uh, the the NSX concept, I believe. So I'm pretty sure that that's what this is supposed to be. He's got the outfit too. Wow, Tony Stark. We have three of Tony Stark. You know what? I'm gonna bring mine over here. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring mine over there because I mean it, it it should be over there. Oh, I have my mini map off. I was using that for the thumbnail. Let me turn that back on really quick. I, I'm bringing my R8 over there because, uh, yeah, I, I really think it should be over there <laughs> at this point. So this is the one from the first movie. That's the one I did here. This one's super iconic. I mean, when I saw this car in that movie, I fell in love with the R8. But the, the new R8s definitely look a lot better. But there we go. Yeah, the NSX concept. Yep. The only, exactly, you're right. The only a movie that Tony Stark isn't driving an Audi. I wonder how much they paid to have the NSX in there instead of uh, instead of an, an R8. That's good. Love that. Very, very nice. Same color and everything. Proper wheels. Love that. Continuing, we got Mike TV, obviously from the movie Bumblebee, the VW Beetle, the yellow wall of rust on it. And the outfit, too, from the main character. I love that. Very well done. That is super cool. The fact that Rockstar actually gave us, you know, a, a non-off-road VW Beetle makes me so happy. Because the injection, we had to kind of, like, use that as an alternative for some builds. But after they gave us this, and then the was nightclub update after hours, that it was just awesome. Was it after hours that this car came out with, or was it... It was Kaio, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty sure it was Kaio. But English Dave gave it to you for free. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, we got Toxie with the Death Proof Nova. Love this. Very, very cool. That is awesome. The matte black, the death on the plate. Oh, that's sick. That is so cool. The other Gauntlet Classic to park on the end. Um, yeah, he should... Yeah, he can park... Uh, if you guys just want to point to him where he should park, just, just follow with where they point. <laughs> Love that. Death proof over there. Continuing, we got SWD John. John, you want to let us know what this is? Ribby Chat knows, because I definitely don't. I, I, I don't know what this is. Thunderbolt from the end of Mafia Media Car videos. What? Is that is that what is that what this peyote supposed to be? I don't know. Ellie is mine gone in sixty seconds. Yep. That one I know. I made a video on that one. That one I, I know for a fact. How do they park with their wheels turned? So there's two different ways you can do it. Um solo method. I'll actually show it here on stream. Why not? So solo method, um you want to hold your handbrake, step one, full throttle, step two. Then you want to lean forward. Oh, you can't do it with hydraulics. My bad. It has to be a car that doesn't have hydraulics. Okay, so again. Handbrake. Handbrake. Full throttle. 
and then you want your, your character to lean down, to, to hunker down there, and then you want to start steering back and forth, and you'll notice that it starts kind of like glitching at the same time, and then you just want to release and hop out. Well, I did it wrong there, but yeah, it's ugh, Xbox controller stuff. I'm still getting used to this one. There you go. That's how you do it. It's a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you know, that's how you do it there. But, yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, this peyote, I wasn't sure. Oh, El Elvira, Mistress of the Night's Thunderbird. I've never seen that, but for those of you who have, there you go. <laughs> I didn't, didn't know about that one. Okay. Interesting. Is there a way to have your headlights on without having the door open? Headlights on. Hey, you just use the interaction menu for the headlights. You go to vehicles, remote functions, and then... Do you mean interior lights? <laughs> just go to headlight engine on and then headlights. It's that simple. Um, we got HLI Gamer with the Ellie, of course, Eleanor build. I did a customization video on this one. Looks very accurate to me. He's got all the right parts. Looks great. The one little thing that I showed um, was the wheels. I think it was Dark Ivory that was a little closer. But I think he's still one with the alloy here, which there's nothing wrong with that. It looks good. Very nice. Love that. Oh man, John Wick right next to it. That's awesome. We got Crazy Shepherd, John Wick. John Wick build. That's the wrong hood though. But um, right wheels, tire lettering. I made a customization video on this if you want to check it out. But that's the plate, isn't it? XAB235. I'm pretty sure that's the plate from the movie. That's awesome. Well done. Why a carbon spoiler, dude? Please check out my video. I, I made a video on this, so so you can do a you can do a secondary rear spoiler, right? And then you choose matte black, and then you have like the plastic look for like the real Mustang um, for the spoiler, and then it comes out like perfect. Um, and then the hood is also incorrect. Um, the engine model is also incorrect. <laughs> But uh, from, yeah, from an exterior standpoint, it's good. It's good. Before your time. <laughs> Eleanor always have problem to replicate it. Um, this guy did it right. The Eleanor one. I see nothing wrong with it except for the wheel color. But that's that's you can still go with alloy. There's nothing wrong with it. I did it in my video. But um, this, this, one's, this one's pretty much on point. Next up, we got Pimpin' Distress. Is this... Is this supposed to be... I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's a black, rusty... Dukes. I... Pff, I don't know. Anybody have any ideas? I wanna say... I wanna say... Um... The rusted out Charger and Herbie that Lindsay Lohan gets into in the junkyard, but maybe I'm going thinking too far out on that one or general mayhem right yep i definitely thought way too far out of the box for that one <laughs> so all right general okay so for this is from roadkill general mayhem okay yes that's, that's a little better yeah that's 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 way better forget about the one i said <laughs> forget about the one i said the only reason i know about that was because i had to watch some of the movie scenes to do the herbie build video properly <laughs> okay um, yes, I love that. Very well done. The ripped out interior and everything. Of course, is the Beater Dukes. Looks great. Love that. Continuing, we got, uh, Thrano Tofu. Oh my, this, this person's a massive Initial D fan. <laughs> the name and the car. Well done. I love that. Very, very, very cool. And I love the little detail Rockstar did, where when you choose this livery, instead of Fudo on the back, it says Tofu. <laughs> so cool. That attention to detail and reference is amazing. The Tuner's update, probably like one of the best updates we've ever had in GT Online. Like, all the car customization was good. All the cars were good. Uh, the, the LS car meet, they somehow also incorporated a, built, uh, a business into it with the auto shop, except for... KDJ is kind of annoying, but what's the Santa, you know? <laughs> but uh, other than those two, the entire update was amazing. One of the best we've ever had for sure. Uh, continuing, we got Goat Drew. This, of course, is Miami Vice. Love it. I did a customization video on this as well. So the wheels are a bit off, um, but other than that, looks good. They're a little too big. 
I think the ones from the tuner category suit it a little better. But um, still looks great. Right colors on everything and most of the right options. And the outfit too. Love that. Well done. Uh, we got Chris Chicken Nugget. This is the Supernatural Impala, right? The black Impaler. Looks great. Black with the stock wheels. I haven't, I've been wanting to do this build, I haven't done it yet, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is mostly right. It looks great. Nicely done. This one I'm trying to figure out. What is this one? This one's owned by Admiral Payne. Admiral Payne, you want to tell us what this is? Because I, I I, don't know what this is. Did John Wick ever drive a Challenger? That's obviously the, I don't remember him driving a Challenger, ever. Um... Anybody in chat remember John Wick driving a Challenger? Because I sure as hell don't. <laughs> the new John Wick. I'm not to Google this. I'm to Google this, I swear. John Wick Challenger. Sorry for my loud keyboard. Um, Wick Challenger. I don't see him in a Challenger. I Googled it. I don't, I don't see him. There's no Challenger scene here. I don't see anything with a Dodge Challenger. The new movie? What, there's a fourth one? Really? Oh yeah, look at that. Huh. Man, I, I can't believe I haven't seen the trailer yet. yet. Wow. Don Wick 4. Oh yeah, look at that. My bad, okay, I just found it. I just found, you know, I'll put, I'll put the, uh, the link to this if you guys want to check it out in the chat. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, there you go. That is that's 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 very cool, actually. Awesome, very creative. I love that. I I can't believe I haven't seen the trailer yet. I'm gonna look at that later. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't seen that. Um, but very very nice, awesome build there and the outfit, absolute perfection. It was a Cuda, that's right. So it was a Cuda, uh, but then with the chat with the Gauntlet Classic, there's Cuda parts that you can put on it to make it look like. The um the Cuda with the little side vents and all that. Very well done. Continuing we got this Mamba. I wanna say Ford versus Ferrari, but I don't I think this person lagged out. Let me see. If this person lagged out. If you're in chat, please let me know if this is your Mamba. It looks like Ford versus Ferrari to me, but not a hundred percent sure. That's my guess anyway. Cobra isn't really in that many movies. Um, bad, it wasn't bad place though, that was a great scene with the, uh, Porsche Turbo. We got John, another John Wick. So we got, right, so we had John Wick over there, Crazy Shepherd, I think, right? Yeah, and then we got another John Wick over here. Both with the same hood, nice. Yeah, I think I did do, yeah, this build... Yeah, pretty much all of it's this. They both have the wrong spoiler. I made a customization video. Come on, guys. I made a movie build on the John Wick Mustang so you can get the spoiler right. You want to make your secondary matte black, and then you want to choose secondary spoiler. That's just a little more accurate. But other than that, looks great. With the hood pins and everything. Well done. And love the outfit, minus the hair, but the outfit's pretty good there. All right. Continuing in here, we got uh, two Peter Griffins, <laughs> some family guy obviously. Peter Griffin number one, with the same car of course, little station wagon, love that. And number two, which I think he lagged out, uh, let's see here. Oh, he's in here. Oh, there he is. It's gonna be uh, nine, nine Lee, hope I said that right, nine Lee. Okay, <laughs> love it, love it. Plate is 91, okay. Well, I guess he used... Oh, it's 9... 91E? I don't... Your plate and your name is confusing me. 9 Lee with a 91 plate, okay. <laughs> Continuing over here, we got Sleepy Golf, like I mentioned earlier. So, he did the Ford versus Ferrari GT40 build. Unfortunately, we don't have the 1960s GT40 in-game, you know, the Mark II. So, we had to kind of compromise. Well, he had to compromise and use the Bullet, which is based on the 05. 4 GT, um, but yeah, the closest we have in game. Um, got the right wheels on there. The golf blue looks beautiful. The white stripe on the side and the proper outfit of that 60s era racing outfit. 
Very, very well done. And, even better, the 7K RPM play! Oh my god. Great, great job in the details. I love that. Continuing over here, we got uh, Elmo with Walter White, Breaking Bad RV. Oh my god, he's got the bullet holes on the door and everything! Oh man, that's great. Very well done. Love that. I'm sure he must have been really happy when Rockstar added this with delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, probably his favorite vehicle from the entire Drug Wars DLC, if I, if I had to take a guess. <laughs> Yo, Mr. White! <laughs> that's good, that's good. Very well done. Continuing, we got five cars from the movie Cars. <laughs> this, is, this is very, very, very cool. So, we got Boost. So for those of you who remember that scene, um, when Lightning McQueen was on the back of Mac, right? And then the three tuner cars, the Snot Rod, Wingo, and I think Boost. That was Snot Rod, Wingo, and Boost. They kind of, like, um, make Mac fall asleep even more because he was trying to stay awake. But they put the sleepy music, and then they kind of, like, mess around with him a little bit. And this was, like, the nitrous car that had the car, the nitrous here on the back and everything. Super, super creative using the ETR-1 for that. That is perfection. I mean, it looks... Oh, that's right, DJ. Thank you. How can we forget the music? DJ, you're right. You're right. I forgot DJ. You're correct. <laughs> but very, very cool. The right wheels. This is definitely the closest car by far for that. Well done. I love that. This one's owned by Rose Bathory. Nice. Continuing, we got VS uh, 7K with the King. The blue... Looks fantastic. Great job. Super accurate with the wheels, delivery, everything. Very, very well done. And the color spot on, too. Love that. We got Trailblazer with Lightning McQueen build use of a 900R. Definitely the closest we have in game. Got the super close to the livery, the wheels, tire lettering. Looks fantastic. V8 power on the plate. Love that. What does this one say? Oh the oh the captain plate that's for his uh <laughs> the captain plate that's for his uh Jesse Pickman uh build. <laughs> uh continuing we got GTA boosted with chick hicks. Oh man, that's awesome. Of course using the hot ring saber. Absolutely love that. Let me hop over Doc Hudson here. There we go. <laughs> that is sick. Oh man, super creative. Absolutely love this. And then of course we got Doc Hudson. Which is a XD Dow Dowgens. I, ho I hope I said that. I probably butchered it, but there's a name on screen there. <laughs> with the uh, Hermes, of course, with the Doc Hudson build. Last week, was it? Rockstar gave us the clean version of the Albany Hermes livery. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get it, it's now currently in the game. It was hidden forever, um, but we now have it. XD on the plate. Oh my god, that's great. The Yankton. With the blue the wheels. Super awesome there. Very creative there, guys. I, I I can't give top three to five cars, but we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll pick my favorite of the five, but all right. Continuing over here, uh, we got another Doc Hudson. So this guy wasn't like part of their group. He just happened to bring <laughs> the Doc Hudson as well. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like when you're, when you're checking out in the, in the uh, grocery store, you put the little separator divider. So, you know, the stuff that's not yours, they kind of did that with him. <laughs> they kind of kicked them off to the side, but... <laughs> he's got the Doc Hudson build as well. So he did the... What wheels are these? These are from the... Oh, these are the ones I used in my video. And then I think these... These are the... Oh, these are the ones from Benny's here. These are the ones from Benny's, and these are the ones from... From the uh, street category. Very cool. Yeah, pretty much the same as the uh, build I did in my video, except, you know, with the right livery. Unfortunately, with my luck, right, what, when, when the suggestion for Doc Hudson arises, <laughs> I, I, they only had the rusty livery available when I made my video. I wouldn't doubt if Rockstar, maybe, maybe somebody mentioned to Rockstar, like, you know, oh, that's right, we forgot about that <laughs> Doc Hudson livery <laughs> when I posted my video. <laughs> Because, I mean, the timing was, like, pretty close. Like, that can't be a coincidence out of all the cars in the game. But, anyways, uh, we got SVXZ. So, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Any ideas? 
any ideas. GTR is Nightbird from upcoming Transformers movie. There's another one? What? This, I, I literally stopped watching. Like, I stopped watching the Transformer movies after um, when, when... What's his name took over? Uh, oh, man. The one, that, the one that played Ted. What's his name again? When, when, when he took over, I stopped watching. I, I just... I don't know. I, I liked it better with... Shia LaBeouf, I think, did a great job with the, with the three movies. Oh, yeah, I see it here. Look at that. Very cool. Okay. I see that. Alright. Looks pretty good. Definitely on point with all the options and stuff. Looks great. Mark Wahlberg. Thank you. I don't know how I, how I couldn't remember that, but Mark Wahlberg. Okay. We got 1973 Oldsmobile Delta 88. That's the movie? Delta 88? I've never seen Delta 88. I, I'm guessing I'm going to have to, but... But his name is Sold to Your Mom. <laughs> Sold to Your Mom. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, that's a good name. Great build there. Even if you don't consider this like a movie build, this is a great build on this Greenwood. I like this. Very well done. We got the Mr. Bean car. I did a customization video on this as well. I did a movie or a TV show build on this one. Um, it's got the outfit. It looks fantastic. And then, of course, the build. Got the right color on there, the wheels, got the hood. This color is on point. Very well done. I love that. Super, super creative. I love it. Oh man, yeah, that, that was a fun one for sure. I, I, I like making that build. That was a good one. Continuing, we got uh, Jay River. This, of course, is Wolf of Wall Street, because what else can it be, right? <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he confirmed it there, Wolf of Wall Street. Um, I'd say the stock wheels are still closer. Um, I understand these. I think they're just too big, though. I think the stock wheels are just a bit closer. But these are definitely a good alternative for this car. But I think they're just a bit too big. But great build. I love that. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, too. Fun fact, the Countaches that they used in that movie were all replicas. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Continuing, we got Raging Taz with a blue Monte Carlo. What what movie is this, please? Lance Vance's... What? Inferno. I don't know what that is. Uh, Christian... This car. What, what is this Monte Carlo? Anybody know? <laughs> Anybody know? A blue Monte Carlo. Ace Ventura. Oh my... How did I... Man! you. I did not... How did I not get that instantly? With the, the crazy outfit, of course. That is super creative. I love that. I absolutely love that. That is extremely, extremely creative. Is that the same plate, too, from the movie? Ace Ventura Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Play. Sorry for my loud keyboard, by the way. It's like a typewriter, but hey, it's a mechanical gaming keyboard. It just is what it is. <laughs> this might be the play. I don't know. I can't find a good image. No, I don't. I don't think there was. No, there was no custom plate on it. So that's just something random he had. Okay. Very cool. Do you say vice? True. 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 All right, and lastly here we have. Another king from Cars, or this could be Richard Petty. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, the outfit's a bit out there. Could be both. Uh, the hood is definitely wrong, though, so I don't know why he did that one. But um, And the exhaust, is, I think, is also wrong. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Not bad. And I think that's all of them. Let's just double check here. Of course, we always, yeah, Dynaco, yep. We always do like a little walk around. We got this one over here. We got Peter Griffin Family Guy station wagons. We got two Peter Griffins. Imagine a world with two Peter Griffins, oh boy. <laughs> Sleepy Goth over there with the bullet. Of course, Ford or Ferrari build. We got all the other ones here as well. Fantastic builds today, guys. I, I love this. Movie Car Meet, by the way, is my favorite theme for, for this kind of um, car meet 
series we do every Saturday you know, on the streams. Uh, and, and definitely Movie Car Made is my favorite by far. I just love the creativity because some people are like, oh, what's, what's so special about recreating a movie car? Well, it's GTA. So you have to like find the car that's also closely based to the one from real life. Then you can also do an outfit with it, unlike other games. Um, and then you could damage it, break a door off if it's like that in a scene, um, or add bullets to it. You know, or, or just it's the little details. That that's what makes GTA a little more special in that regard when replicating a build. So, um, and this is the one I brought, of course, which is from the first Iron Man, just the silver uh, first gen R8 with the street wheels there. Super similar to the real ones. And then the newest Avengers movie. The orange R8. Love that. The first Avengers movie with the concept NSX. And there's so many good ones. Jesus. <laughs> I think I might have to do a top five for this one. Yeah, I might have to do a top. Top three is not going to cut it for this one. Um, yeah, definitely. Top five is definitely not going to cut it. Let's start off with number five. Let's start off with number five. Oh, we got stuck here. Um, number five. Alright, number five, I'm gonna go with Mike the TV because the outfit is like spot on. Of course, Bumblebee. I mean, it's very, very well done. The, the closest it can be, definitely. So, number five for me there. Uh, number four. Let's run all the way down here. It was so creative, I didn't even notice it right away. <laughs> Number four for me is going to be the Ace of Ventura Monte Carlo. I love this with the outfit and everything. Just super, super creative. Like, super out of the box in terms of creativity. I love that. Very well done. Um, that's number four. And then let's go to number three. Number three. A little, a little bias here. <laughs> Number three for me is going to be uh, Ford versus Ferrari GT40 with the 7K RPM. Yes, I know this is based on the 05, but you know Rockstar never gave us the uh, GT40, unfortunately. I, I don't think it's going to happen at this point. It just is what it is. But um, good compromise. The right outfit, the right wheels, the right golf blue with the plate. Very well done. And then that leaves us with second and first. Um, and it's definitely gonna be two of these, two of these five, uh, cars from the movie Cars. That's, this is gonna be, was it Doc Hudson, Chick Hicks, Lightning McQueen, The King, or Boost? Hmm, this is, this is tough, very tough. Well, to be honest, I've never seen someone replicate Chick Hicks. I've seen Lightning McQueen, I've seen The King multiple times. And I've definitely never seen anybody replicate Boost. That was very creative. So, um, I think I'm gonna. Go, I've seen Doc Hudson a million times as well. So I think I'm gonna go with Chick Hicks for second place, and then I'm gonna go Boost for first place. Um, that's that creativity is just super out of the box. Very well done. Absolutely love that. Yeah, the Boost one was super super creative. Very, I've never seen it replicated before, so very well done. Um, so that's my top five picks there. That's That was very tough, I'm not going to lie. So now we're going to take a little slow drive in the rain uh, to the movie studio. So please be very careful in your drive, uh, because it is raining and you don't hit too many cars around you. Uh, you can go in passive if you want. If you don't want to get hit around, then go out of passive once you're parked. But take a little drive to the movie studio. <laughs> nice, yeah. <laughs> Go down through here. Just make an early. Uh, heard anything about GTA 6? Rockstar hasn't said anything. Um, except for 50 Cent, who claims to be something big coming soon with a random Vice City logo he got off the internet. But I, I don't know. Maybe he's producing music for that game or some of the main music or something. Or just some of his songs featured. We're going to have to wait and see. But. I didn't post anything on that because I don't really think that's worth covering until Rockstar confirms it. Plus, Rockstar is extremely strict on um, 
they, they make them sign, what are those called again? The uh, non-disclosure agreements. So, I mean, they can't disclose anything. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of skeptical about that, personally. NDA, yeah. Non-disclosure agreement. Nothing from American Graffiti, indeed. Great thumbnail, thank you. It's raining here currently, but um, getting close here. I mean, just go ahead and park up and just go to the, the corner and just back in your car next to an order here. I'm just going to try to get closer so there's more space. Yeah, we can fit almost all the cars in here. Yeah, they're using actual parking spaces. I guess that works too. Nice. We move this barracks out of the way. Yeah, we used to have the meats here for a long time. Of course, I got cops for that. And boom. Okay. Let me just move this out of the way. Sorry about that. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. And we got this out of the way. Do you play GTA in your free time? I mean, these days, because I mean, I have almost everything I want in the game already, right? Um, and unless it's playing with, with friends, which most of the, the main friends I play with, they're, they're doing more like IRL stuff these days, so not really that much gaming anymore. Um, so, to answer your question, uh, I don't really play it that much in my free time anymore, no. Um, unless I'm, you know, making a video or something. Um, but, I mean, I've done almost everything I want to do in the game, so. Yeah. Plus, I also I do play on here though to to earn money. I have 23 mil right now on my Xbox account, and I I, I did this just for um just for you guys, you know, so I can host meets on Xbox and have money to buy cars for racing and also for the meets and stuff like that. There's also spots right here, guys. Look, there's there's a few here as well. Some spots here. But yeah, you can pretty much fit all of them here. Yeah. Favorite movie car. Hmm. The Back to the Future DeLorean is so cool. Like, of course I can time travel. It can fly. <laughs> I mean, what's cooler than that, honestly? <laughs> it would probably be that one if I'm being honest. Alright, so we got all the cars here. So we used to have the meats here, and this was sort of like a... We try to make it look like the movie studio is using these cars for movies, right? And they just have them sitting here, you know, waiting to use them in a film. So that, that, that was kind of like what we used to use for this location. So one of my favorite locations here for sure. Uh, Sleepy, if you want to get a shot of this here as well. Um, I don't know why. What is this? Huh, that's weird. Second, um, no on my headsets. Uh, that's weird. Here we go. Okay, I got that. If only Rockstar would give a deluxe garbage converter. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my gosh. No NFS Mustang. You're right. I mean, we don't really have the closest would probably be the regular Dominator, right? And unfortunately, um. You know, we don't have the refreshed version of that, which well, that came out in 2010? Or was it 09? No, it was 2010, yeah. And the one featured in Need for Speed Mustang was a 13 slash 14, which, uh, yeah, we, we don't have in game, so not, not super accurate. All right, so now we're going to start up the... Uh, Racing playlist with movie themed races. We got Ghana 60 seconds with Ellie's only. We got the Italian job with Issy Classics. This is gonna be a fun one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this one up here. Now unfortunately, um 
the, my playlists are a little broken for me sometimes, and it uh, it puts like long haul in the middle, and then I save it, I put it to the bottom, and it does that again. So, long story short, I gotta host long haul separately. So after the playlist is over, then I'm gonna host long haul after. Okay, so all right, let's get to it. Ghana 60 seconds is the first race. Okay, kind of 60 seconds. And then Sleepy, you just gotta invite all from current session because, you know, Xbox is broken with the privacy setting thing. Put this on off. That way, even if you don't own an Ellie, you can still have a, comp you know, chance. <laughs> And crew members invites also sent out. Put that on open. So Ghana 60 second Vapid Ellie only race. Acura or Infinity? I not really a fan of either, so <laughs> I don't know. The only the only car I like from Acura is really the NSX. Everything else is kinda eh to me. Twenty-four invites are still out. Let the timer go down. Twenty seconds left. You guys want to send invite to all from current session, just so that they have the invite there. If they didn't get it or they declined it by accident. Eighteen van. That's also a good one. The TL. The TL is the sedan, right? Or is that the SUV? I don't know nothing about Acura, honestly, except for the NSX. The other cars don't really interest me. <laughs> oh, he pulled up last minute. Oh, man. Tell the setup explosion story from today. <laughs> yeah, we were setting up, and some guy, he accidentally... He was aiming his gun, which that's the reason we have the rule of no weapons, you know, for cops and also so that you don't accidentally, because it's happened before, where somebody aims their gun and they press the button to chuck a grenade, which I think that's LB or RB while you're aiming or something like that. Um, and he accidentally threw a grenade and he blew up like half the cars by accident and he just left immediately. He was like, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's why we have the no weapon rule there. Just don't have any weapons out during the meet. We also have a, a rule that says don't honk your horn. You might be like, come on, man. That, that's a little overkill. Like, you really have to be so picky with your damn rules. Well, this is the reason we don't ha we have the, honk, the don't honk your horn rule. Ready? For some reason, when you group 30 cars together in one area and you press the horn, occasionally, it happens pretty often, um, the horn will get stuck blazing on. And for the person's car, the horn is off. They're literally out of the car, like walking somewhere else, and the horn is just sitting there, just full on, <laughs> through the whole time. And then you have to get back in the car and tap it a couple times so the horn turns off. And the only reason we know is from experience from other meets. So again, every rule in there is, is there for a reason. It's not just random. What if they accidentally press the horn? That can happen and we'll take care of it, you know, we'll get in the person's car and tap it a couple times so it stops, but, you know... It's, it's, it's less of a chance of it happening. Well, all Ellie's here. Some people pick black Ellie's or red Ellie's. <laughs> I'm in the silver slash gray. Got that Nick Cage, Eleanor vibe going here. So this race is not like a traditional Gun of 60 Seconds race. It's like super like closely replicated. It's more like um, GTA mixed because it does have some stunt props and stuff, which I kind of like. And there's a lot of space for people to pass others and stuff. So it's, it's a good race for like contact style races. The car driving needs an HSW upgrade. The car I'm driving needs to have the slow handling flags removed. <laughs> HSW would be nice, but 
Oh, here's the boost part. So this is to replicate the nitrous boost he does in the movie. This is kind of cool. He's, just, he's increased speed to 150. 160. He's gone. <laughs> like, let's just give up and turn around. Let's just not keep chasing him. <laughs> oh, he got hit. He got hit. Uh-oh. Oh, I got wrecked. Nick Cage is down. Nick Cage number out of 25 people. Okay. Accelerating. Back in it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. You're good. You're good. Ooh, that was close. Get back in it. The top 10 still. Well, gonna, gonna get to top 10 here shortly. It was a massive wreck because now it goes back the other way. Ooh, some cars are getting hit. No! No! We'll get back in it. How many laps? Well, not laps. How many checkpoints we got left? Some fun facts about the Dodge Viper. <laughs> Which generation of Dodge Viper? Let's go, let's go. Raymond Kalitri's place. At least that's what I think this is supposed to replicate. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh my god. Gosh darn it. That stupid car needs a sport upgrade or something. We got stupid stuff smack. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> oh, that guy just yeeted off the edge. Okay. <laughs> With a dollar fifty super chat. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. With a hot dog emoji. O okay. I guess he's hungry or something. <laughs> Story on speeding in the Hellcat today. That wasn't me. That was not me. That's my stunt double. That was that's my stunt double in Mexico. That was not me. I don't know who that was. This person just stole my Hellcat and doing some stupid stuff with it. Oh, this is the end here. So this is super cool. It replicates like the jump. You know, kind of close to the end of the movie. Let's try to be a little more accurate. You ready? So he lands and he, like he loses control somehow. Like that. I hope I don't lose 13th place because of that. Come on, Ellie! Come on, I can't curb boost this thing. I still have the flags. No! 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 I think I still got it. I think I still got it. I think I still got it. <laughs> Hopefully. Should have, should be. Let's see. Come on. Load. Yep, I kept, I kept 13th. We're good. We're good. We're good. Mr. Initial D got first place. Nicely done. <laughs> Look at that time difference, 0.142 and 0.154, wow. I was today years old when I learned you have to join the crew in order to join the call, my god. <laughs> they gotta be in the Discord and in the crew to join the meets. Um, the Discord is the primary one though, you know, that's what allows you to fill out the request form and all that. Can I join them on PS1? Yeah, <laughs> PS1. <laughs> I actually used to have a PS1 when I was a kid. I remember when the Xbox came out, and I was like, oh man. I had the original Xbox. I played so many games on that. I had that one for a long time. Great console. For its time, it was it was fantastic console. And the 360 after that was great. PS3 was also super good. Alright, here we go. Top Gear Test Track. So... I'm going to chat the side um, what class you want. We're obviously going to go non-contact because this track was intended for like one car doing a hot lap, not not 30. <laughs> so we're going to do non-contact for this one and we'll do three laps. Custom on. HSW disabled. Yep, already disabled it. Coops, that's not going to happen. Vans, it's not going to happen either. Sports classics, okay, that's one. Nintendo, oh my god. Vans, no. Coops, no. Is there an accurate Nürburgring in GTA? 
Um, not a hundred percent accurate, no. Um, but the one Bruffy made, I think it's called. Um, oh, what's the name of the one he made? I forgot. I, I forgot the name of the North Loop. North Loop. That one's kind of close. Don't lie, you know you want a Maki. Oh my god, Mustang Maki. He comes into every stream every week. <laughs> the $10 super chat, appreciate it, man. I don't want a Maki, but thank you. <laughs> okay, I see a couple supers, so I'm gonna go with that. Oh, that's from the same guy, bro. Well, I mean, if you really think about it, Top Gear mainly featured supercars, right? So, we'll do, we'll do super. Who's joining? Oh, some guy who's not on the crew. Okay. Unfortunately, with Rockstar's playlist, you can't kick someone after the first race for some reason, which is just stupid. He's in denial. That's his dream car. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even if they gave one to me, like, on a free lease. I, I mean, okay, well, I probably would take it just to daily it, but... <laughs> But, actually, no, I don't want to be seen in that. I just don't want it. <laughs> I just don't want it. And if they gave it to me for free, I would sell it. <laughs> I'd rather drive an EcoBoost Mustang. At least it's a real Mustang. <laughs> Even though it doesn't have a V8, but hey. Okay. This neon guy... Is Neon Space is literally joining from space at this point. Look at this. Joining, 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 joining. The Mach-E. There's actually a Shelby Mach-E. Look it up. To me, that is the biggest disgrace to Carol Shelby. I'm sorry. That, that should have never happened. I don't agree with that one bit. See here, do, do, do. audio. Ba -ba. Come on. There we go. What's this? Oh my god, how many people? We start the race already. Camaro E, can you imagine? Okay. So what am I going to pick for this? The N of the XF handles pretty good. Of course, we got the band cars, guys. Remember, we got the band cars. Um. Hmm. Zeruso handles pretty good. Ooh, the Turismo would be fun. I will lose, but like I think it will be more fun than just picking one of the best cars. Let's drive a Turismo. That will be fun. Let's do that. That car handles great. Love the oh the FMJ would have been so good. The FMJ is literally designed for flat tracks like this, and it, it has really good handling on those. I should have picked that. Oh well. Oh well. Is it true some gas-powered vehicles will be banned in some states? According to California, I think it's 2030, right? They plan to... It's banned the sale of new of new gas cars, I think. Not just ban every car driving around with a gas car. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Put three laps on this. This should be interesting. I'm in the... Well, not OG Turismo, but... Super early DLC car. Oh, that's technical as hell. That's so technical. Oh my god. <laughs> I messed up so bad there. That's tricky. You gotta make it a bit more tough. I kind of like that. Come on, Turismo. Turismo. There's a lot more understeer than I remember. What? Huh? What? What? Rockstar? Hello? Now it gives me the checkpoint. Huh? What? What? What was that? What was that, Rockstar? <laughs> what is that? Are you kidding me, man? 
Are you kidding me? That's some garbage. That is that is some garbage. That is wow. Okay. You saw it on stream. Rockstar's trolling me. You saw <laughs> trolling me live. They're like he can't win this. He can't win this playlist. <laughs> I'm not okay. I thought I missed that one too. I'm, I'm traumatized now. I'm traumatized now. I was about to break. The curse of the electric cars. That's what it was. What? Did I, okay, did I actually miss? Really? What? What is that? Okay, I think. Okay, I think I found. The, I found the issue with that checkpoint. You have to hit it right in the middle if that doesn't give it to you. Ah, <sighs> that's so stupid. That is. That's so stupid. You gotta go right in the center of a checkpoint. I've never seen that. That is weird. Whoever made this race needs to fix that. That's broken. Very, very broken. Who's in the S80RR? That's banned, dude. What are you doing? Is that, that's an S80, right? Or is that the... Uh, yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Eh? The creator forgot to up update it. Yeah, you have to hit it exactly in the middle. If not, it doesn't give it to you. You have to go like right. Yeah, look at that. See, right in the middle. That is, that's broken. It's so broken. That's annoying. That's so stupid. I feel robbed. I got sixth place though, and best lap. Look at that. That's probably my last lap. The worst part is I wanted to bring Jurassic Park Jeep to the Aww. Yeah, that would have been cool. And on that bombshell, back to the studio. <laughs> What's up, Alan? That's good. That's perfect timing. That was a bombshell. That, that was an absolute bombshell. And on that bombshell, on to the next race that's not broken. Jesus. Yeah, it's a broken, it's a broken checkpoint for some reason. I, I tested it earlier. I didn't have a problem. I guess I happened to hit it right in the middle. I mean, I, I don't, when I test races, I don't I don't go to each checkpoint and go, hmm, let me hit the edge, let me hit the side. <laughs> I I test it. I do one lap and that's it. But uh, yeah, I, that's that's weird. I didn't. I guess I didn't catch that. I missed a super chat. What? No, I didn't. What? Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I guess I was racing when he sent that. So I got a super chat from uh, Stupid Stuff Smack. He says, how about a Dodge Dart with a Hellcat swap? Appreciate the super chat, dude. That's like a mini Dodge Charger Hellcat. <laughs> I like that. I would drive that. <laughs> that, so that sounds dangerous. I love it. <laughs> Can you imagine if Dodge would have done that for real? That would have sold so well. All right, Cannonball Run, obviously Sports Classics. Um, do do do. We'll do catch up. Subscribe to Sable HSW. Point to point. All right. Be starting in here shortly. Under construction. What? Oh no! I, I tested it earlier. It's fine. I guess he's just making some changes to it. But no, it's 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 good. I, I tested it earlier. This one's actually kind of fun. It's not a traditional cannonball run like the movie. Um, it's more of like um, GTA interpretation of a cannonball run, if that makes sense. It's it's a fun race. You'll like it. Bicycle meet win. Oh my god. Which sports classes cars can we use? I forget. It's in the Discord. It's in the Discord. Um, it's under the. Uh, oh, let me see here. GTA Carby Info. So here are the sports classics that are not allowed. Hopefully it doesn't restrict me on not allowed. There you go.
Oh, Dornier put it. Oh, I didn't see that. My bad. <laughs> I did disable HSW, right? Okay, yeah, good. Okay. Um, the Mamba would be a lot of fun. Uh, the Gali would be fun too. Good. I mean, Cannonball Run. I think I, I, I kind of have to pick a Kuntosh. <laughs> I, I just, I have to pick a Kuntosh. What else am I gonna pick? All right, Kuntosh time. Gone by Rally was a great movie. I, I, I love that one. Cannonball Run was also good. I'd say Cannonball Run a little more. Like, that intro with the Kuntosh is just amazing. I loved it so much, I literally made a little short YouTube on it. Like, <laughs> a YouTube short, I had to. That, that was, that one was so good. That intro is so iconic. Yeah, this, 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 the intro to this race is awesome. Look at this. It starts off, like, downhill. But this part is so cool. I love this. Like, full speed. Look at that. Max out the speedometer. Almost. Oh, it's still going. Look at that. It's going to hit 200. Even though analog gauges and jeets are not accurate. But hey, look. <laughs> it's fast. Whatever it is, it's full. Somebody blew up. Now, we are hauling. Hauling right now. There goes Mr. Wolf of Wall Street up there. Now... Soccer balls. Ow. Okay. Okay. Mid drive. Save it. Cannonball Run 2 is free to watch with ads on YouTube movies now. Really? Huh. I haven't seen the second one in a while. I might, I might do a rewatch. Yeah, you're right. Real ball and cannonball. <laughs> Initial D build. Yeah, I mean, it's all based on the suggestions from you guys. I think the next one from what I read is... Oh, I can't remember. I gotta look at the likes again in the, uh, in the last one. Have like flag beat. Oh my god. Only problem with Gumball was at the finish line, became first to cross and not total time. Oh, are we right? Yeah, Gumball was different in that regard. It was more of a race than a, than a time thing. Come on. Man. Oh, lost the back end there a little bit. A lot of people made a mistake here. Yes, Jay, he does smoke. I do not smoke. <laughs> How do I join? Uh, you gotta be in the Discord and in the crew. All the info's down below. Ooh! He's still... Well, he's, I mean, at least he didn't go off the track. Bit of a rough landing there, but... We're back in front. Let's go. But in the rules meeting, they said total time. You're right! You are correct. Wow. So that's an error in the movie. Bit of an oversight there. Huh, interesting. I never noticed that actually. But I mean, the, the difference in time at the start was what? Like, five seconds between each car or something like that? When can you do a limo car, mate, bruh? Well, we do have a custom- the only customizable limo we have in the game is the Patriot Stretch. That'd be kind of funny. Good stream, thank you. <laughs> I try. The next race after this is the, um... Italian Job race, with SE Classics only. That's gonna be a fun one. 
And then I gotta host long haul separately because my playlists are a little glitched. It keeps putting a long haul in the middle, so. This part's kinda cool too in the end. It's like this tube. And at night, I think it's pretty sick. That's why we have it set to night, which is what the creator intended. Have you done an F1 car meet? Nope, but we've done a race car meet. You know, like NASCAR, um, race cars like the Tyrus and all that, and also we open wheel cars. Patriot stretch long haul. I feel like we've done that. I can't remember. Please don't land in the middle. Please don't land in the middle. Please don't land in the middle. Ah, well. At least I'm somewhat okay when I landed. Bump boost. Oh, I was only a little bit there, bruh. Do we have an Evo in the game? Uh, Karuma? Really, like... The, one of the only cars that's like 100% EVO based. Um, the Sultan Classic has a little EVO mixed in there. But yeah, those are really the only two. An EVO 8 would be an amazing addition to the game. I don't know why we don't have it yet. I mean, this makes no sense to me. A Karuma Classic or Karuma Retro, whatever they want to call it. Ooh, how did that one happen? Ah, <laughs> how did I dodge all that? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's the power. See, it's Cannonball Run with a Countach. See, it's just magic. Just that, That's how it is. It just happens. Catch up. Oh, they all caught up. Oh, my God. 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 Come on! Come on, Kutosh! I believe in you! Go, 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 go! Did I get it? Please tell me I got it. <laughs> I think I did! The only race I'll win this straight. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! See, I told you, it's the power of the Kutosh in Cannonball Run. The legend, the legend wins. The Kutosh won. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. We should get a, the, the baby car. Oh my god. It's an old meme, come on. Retinue, second. Terrero, third. Look at all those Infernus classics. All those imposters. They should be in Kuntashes. <laughs> you broke the rules and honked at the end. Minus 1,000 points. That's that's only for, for the car meets. <laughs> Once your video smashed into me at the start, oh. and it happened to me too, right? And I, you know, I got hit around a little bit in the beginning, but I still made it in the end. Yep. CMJ, that's a bad car, dude. We finished in a sheet of classic. That's a great track. Yeah, it's pretty well made. It's a fun one. Like I said, it's not a traditional cannonball run replication. It's more of a like a GTA fun race that's just a bit longer than usual. Alright, here we go. Italian job. Let's see classics. I am putting it on non-contact because I have a lot of the alleyways and stuff are very narrow. Um, so, yeah, and I don't want, like, a pileup or one car's, like, sideways and everybody's just stuck and one car gets away, so that's why it's not in contact for this one. Oh, somebody joining, okay. I have a big question, what made you a car guy, what's the reason? What made me a car guy was my father. <laughs> He's always been into cars, um... Ever since I could remember, I mean, he had a C5 Corvette. That was the earliest car I remember as a kid. Um, then after that, he got a C6 Corvette in 2006, I believe. It was a convertible, candy red, tan top, old man spec. <laughs> you know, it was a good car, though, with a tan interior. It was, it was still nice for what it was. Um, then after that, he got... A, he, I think he sold that. 
No, actually, no, there's a car in between that, my bad. It was a C5, and then it was a Gen 2 Viper. That was my favorite one he ever had. That car was amazing. 2001 Viper GTS, red with the brown interior, which is, like, super, super rare. Um, and he would pick me up in school in it on Fridays. <laughs> oh, man, that was... Oh, I missed that car. Oh, I was a little kid, man. I, I just loved it. And he would do, like, burnouts sometimes in the car, and I was just giggling. I just, I loved it. Then after that, it was the C6 Corvette and the Z06. And then he would also take me to car shows, you know? So, I mean, it, it's it's really him. He's the one that kind of fueled my passion for it. Um, and then also, I mean, the video games as well. You know, Need for Speed series. Um, the Fast and Furious movie. I saw that when I was a kid, you know, I... That, that was that was also great, also part of it too. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, it's uh, my father. <laughs> Come on, SC Classic. This this thing has a slow handling flag. So, what did he do for a living? Yeah, he um. Yeah, he worked at an aviation company. Repairing airplane parts. Gen 2 Viper, that's a W. Uh, yeah, it was. That car was amazing. I'll never forget a funny story. I don't think I've told it on here before. But, um... Well, one time... Uh, my mother would send me to summer camp in the summer because they were always working and stuff a lot. So, I mean, as a kid, you know, I couldn't stay home alone. Um, so, I went to this, like, newer summer camp. It was a huge one. I mean, they had so many activities. It was it was, it was, was great. It was an awesome one for sure. But it was it was big. And uh, one day, he decided to pick me up on the Viper. And um, that's that summer camp was sort of like a school. And... The entrance was like this long entrance, and the buildings kind of like sort of surround it, so you can see every car that comes in that's waiting in line, etc. So, um, he gets there, and I, I literally like, I, I can't see him. I'm like looking around, and I'm like, man, they're supposed to pick me up at this time. Like, what's what's going on? And there's a crowd of people around a car, and I go up to it, and it's my dad in the red viper. <laughs> And all the kids are like taking pictures of it and stuff, and I was like, "Oh my god, what did he, what did he do?" <laughs> and then the the one that runs that school, he came outside and told my dad, "Yeah, you can't bring this car here anymore. This is a hazard to the children." My dad's like, "Really, dude? I can bring it as many times as I want. It's my car." <laughs> so that was a fun one. But eventually, he did sell the car, not because of that, but um, as you know, like. Jet, the Gen 2 Vipers, if you don't know, they're very dangerous cars. Um, no traction control, no stability control, and the tire technology back then wasn't really the greatest, right? They didn't really have that good of performance tires back then. So driving those cars, I mean, you had to have brass, you know what, to drive one of those cars, to drive it hard and have fun with it. And um, he lost control of it once, facing oncoming traffic, and he sold it. He sold it immediately and he bought a C6 Z06 which was a great car the AC actually worked well <laughs> unlike the Viper that would blow like hot air on you <laughs> the Viper is bad those cars the, the the initial gens they look great but for practicality not so much note to self do not land on the back wheels of the SE Classic Bruh! Never been to a car show? Come on. I gotta go to a car show one day. Depending on what city you live in, just type it on Instagram or on Google. Let's say you live in New York, for example. Um, type in cars and coffee or car show New York, and you'll find something, especially at Instagram. There's a lot of organizers that host events. With it, and they have insurance and everything, so it's not some illegal takeover. It's fully legal. <laughs> so make sure you find a good one. Most of the one, most of the morning ones are all you know legal with insurance and all that, and they have permission to be there. Uh, 
I am driving so poorly right now. I just don't like the way the SC Classic drives. <laughs> you like horror? Not really. I don't really like too many horror movies. This car is so tricky to drive, this SC Classic. I didn't realize like how tricky this thing is to drive. Your dad had a BMW M3 CSI. That's a great car. Love that. Great taste. <laughs> you need to come to cruising the coast down in Mississippi. A week a week long car show. That's awesome. See so all SE classics there. So the last race of the playlist, but technically not the last race because we got long haul themed around the NFS movie Final Race, so I, I only allowed this in Torno to be a reference to the Sesto Lamento, the um, Cheetah, and a reference to the GTA Spano, even though Rockstar mixed it with the Enzo, but has some GTA Spano in there on the back end. And also, the um, of course, the Agera R with the XXR, uh, the Tyrus to kind of reference the Selena 7, um... And then the Adder to reference the Bugatti, and of course the T20 to reference the P1. So those are the cars that are allowed for long haul, but it's already restricted. So I'm going to host that here after this playlist. Are there low riders in the car meets you go to? Yeah, I always, I, I always see low riders and you see everything. <laughs> One of the meets I go to, it's it's um it's it's hosted like in the parking lot of a mall. It's huge. You see everything there. Like anything you can think of is there. You have the Jeep guys, the lifted truck guys, the slam truck guys, the JDM cars, the exotics, everything in between. Everything's there. It's 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 amazing. Alright, now we're gonna host long haul. Jobs, my jobs. Again, I had to host it separately from the playlist because my playlists were glitched, so, yeah. Okay. I also made a second one, for, for those of you who want to host it for yourself, I made one with, with no restrictions, called uh, 72, uh, sorry, V2F, and then I have the other one, which is um, V2T, which stands for theme slash restricted, so, go ahead and host that one here. DCA definitely drives a Honda Jazz. <laughs> I drive a Prius with a Hellcat swap. <laughs> if you sold everything you own and use all your money, would you be able to buy your dream car? I would barely be able to afford my dream car. Um, to answer your question, sort of. Not really, though. I'd be in massive debt. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. All right, super restricted. Um, uh, there you go. And all from last drop. I don't think it will let me invite them, but um, let me invite. There we go. Sleepy, if you can invite all from last drop. Now, for those of you who didn't get into the meet, you can still get into long haul, by the way. If you go to my profile and hit join, if you're in the crew, you will you will get into long haul. So if you want to do that, you can. Would you buy a replica? No. My dream car is the 054 GT. There's no replica of that. Actually, there is. It's a race car, but I, I don't I don't count that. <laughs> it's like some track only car based on the Ford GT. Movie themed key fob story. Oh my god, he's back again. <laughs> Do you think we will get all GTA Online cars in GTA 6 story mode? No, I know it's gonna shock a lot of people, but you really have to think about it. How many cars came out with the launch of GTA 5? Not that many, right? So, I think that's definitely going to be something that, that continues to sort of follow and trend with GTA 6. Because uh, if Rockstar gives us too many cars at launch, then there aren't too many quote-unquote new ones they can give us through DLCs, right? 
So personally, um, I don't think we're gonna get that many cars upon launch. Now, I definitely think a lot of the old GTA 5 cars, like the OG ones, like especially the ones that came from GTA 4, 100% those are not going to be in GTA 6. I, I highly doubt it. But um, it would be nice to see the traffic updated. That's going to be nice to see. You'll be able to watch Fast X when it comes out. Yeah, I'm going to go see it in the theater. Not because I like it, but just because... Uh, it's, just, it's just a fun watch. It's like a guilty pleasure. All right, so I gotta go Veyron for this one, P1, or Sesta Lamento. Hmm. The OG Adder would be fun, but the, the acceleration is just trash. Same thing with the handling. I think I'm gonna have to go with the T20, honestly. Well, P1 gank for this one. I work for Rockstar, we haven't started making GTA 6. <laughs> well, that's obviously capped because of the leaks, so... <laughs> Here we go! I see the Red Aguero back there. I think he has to win, right? I mean, he's like, he has the luck. He has that, that plot armor from the movie. <laughs> he has to win. We got stupid stuff smack with a two dollar super chat. Appreciate it, dude. He says it's all about family. It is about family. Lots of family in all the Fast and Furious movies. Man, two silver tyrants like a Slita Seven reference. That's fantastic. I love that. What's the best OG supercar? The fastest OG supercar on a track is the Entity XF. A lot of people think it's the adder, but no, we're talking about track performance with turns, stops, and, and all that. Uh, that is the Entity XF. The adder was the king for top speed back then, but not the king for overall track performance. Tom still survives with the power of family. <laughs> What's up? What's up? The fastest OG sports car, by the way, is the LG RH8. That thing it was the most difficult car to drive in the sports class, arguably, but once you got the hang of it, by far the king. thing is an absolute monster. The Feltzer was a very close second, um, followed by... Actually, no, it was just those two, LG RH8 and the Feltzer. Everything else was just leagues behind. Owie, owie, owie. Where's the Agera guy? The Red XXR. He has to be up here. He has the plot armor. Where is he? I think I see him back there. Bruh. This is a turn. Use your brakes. <laughs> I don't use the brakes. I use the power of the wall. My active spoiler is broken. So. Now I have less traction. This thing drives really weird with that broken. So we'll have to respawn somewhere eventually. Why don't you use a face cam? I'm not a fan of the face cam stuff, personally. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just, just not a fan. I, I, I've done face reveal and stuff, you know, but me just sitting here focusing on a race—it's <laughs> just not. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. Brakes, what is that? <laughs> Mustang driver in a Bugatti, literally. I can't get a slipstream off this Torno guy. What is going on? Who needs brakes when you got family? I had to. I had to. I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. What is, what is this? Oh my god. What was that? It's like a blender of car. I'm going to respawn right here. Come on. There we go. Yes! Got our active spoiler back.
DCA doesn't have a face. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. You don't know how much I wish the adder had the active spoiler. Like, oh, that would be so cool. They gave it to the Nero, but like, it would be cool if they would have like gone back. You know, you know what Rockstar could do. Imagine if they have an HSW upgrade for the adder, right? And then when you put that upgrade, it adds the active spoiler automatically for the adder. That'd be so cool. And like the Bayron. I would love that. I would, I would welcome that from Rockstar. That'd be a fantastic addition to the game. Okay, we both kind of messed up there a little bit. <laughs> we rode the wall a little too long. I'm gonna have to add like a little prop there so that it forces the car back down. HSW Adder Chef's Kiss. Yeah, that'd be fun. HSW Adder would be unstoppable. Yeah, that car, I mean, it's more of a straight line car. Not really a, you know, a car that's good for handling, but it would be interesting to see like how fast it goes and all that. Active spoilers don't work nowadays. Um, it depends. They added it to the Ignis. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other car in between that. I think the Ignis was the last car we got with a working active spoiler. Ignis, Comet S2, I can't think of any others. As of recent, that is. Oh my god! Adder has <laughs> an active spoiler from GTA Plus! <laughs> That's funny. That's oh, it's a real XO, right? I forgot about that one. You are correct. You are correct. Oh, there's the Agera guy. Oh my God, and red and everything. He's he has to win. I I am rooting for him. I am rooting for him. I'm proud of being a car guy. I I so am I. I guess. <laughs> Agara guy, Toby Marshall. He's. What is he doing? What is he doing? Austin powers himself at the end, at the exit of the military base. The 10F. 10F. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Whoops. You're right. I forgot about the 10F. Oh, the yellow GTA spawn. Oh, that's great. I love that. Some people have, like, the correct colors, too, from the movie. That's awesome. It's kind of funny, like, how well-balanced these cars are, too. Like, <laughs> that's kind of, kind of crazy. The Cheetah, probably not so much, but the other ones, I think they're very well-balanced. The Adder has a higher top speed than all the cars here. The XXR has handling flags, which slows it down a bit. For like a race like this, they're all pretty well balanced. I want to see what cars are up front. Look at how far they are. They're just slipstreaming off each other up there. Gonna watch the GP today. I don't really watch racing. Like I don't. I don't watch um, anything like any motorsport on TV. I don't. Unfortunately, just not a fan personally. I don't know find it kind of boring. <laughs> Especially NASCAR. I don't like watching NASCAR. I went to a NASCAR race once in person. I left early. I just... <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Cars go around and around and around. It's just stupid. And then an actual race, if you... Uh, like, to be fair, in, in a motorsport race on TV is not too bad. Like an actual like F1 race or something. But if you go there in person, it's terrible. You're sitting there, the car goes by, then you gotta wait for it to do the whole entire lap and come back. Then you see it again. Woo! When you wait. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like it. I'll never forget one of my buddies that, um, he, he knows a guy that paid for one of those boxes, like at an F1 race that's super expensive, right? And they paid. Thirty thousand dollars or something like that, or forty thousand dollars to rent that suite or whatever it was at the race, and they're all sitting there watching the TV in the suite. 
in the box thing. So what's the point of being there and paying all that much money to watch the damn TV on the race? That's so stupid to me. So stupid to me, but hey. What car do you own in real life? You can check my Instagram if you want. It's digital car addict with underscores instead of spaces. Um, I have a Hellcat Red Eye. I have a Viper GTS 2013 on a TRX. All Mopars. I used to have Chevy before. Like I had a Camaro ZL1. I had a Duramax, but I've kind of moved everything to Mopar. Not intentional. I just happen to like all those cars individually. I guess Dodge started making cool cars in 2013, because before that they were all kind of trash except the Viper. Should do a burnout for 600k? I do a burnout every 100k milestone. I plan to do it in a certain uh, vehicle that involves a snake, maybe? <laughs> we shall see. Updated E-Ray with Z06 will be cool. I don't think we're going to get another Coquette D10. I, I highly doubt that. I think the one we got is what we got, and that's it. And it's kind of funny. Rockstar gave the D10 like a sort of high-pitched exhaust note, sort of like the, the C8R race car. I think they kind of predicted that, that that would be the Z06 engine. So I think it's pretty spot on. And the back end's pretty wide. I think it's fine. But I think it needs better spoiler upgrades. That's like the only complaint I have. Ooh, messed up. A little shortcut didn't work out too well there. Oh, sorry, Bugatti guy. I'm so sorry. Trailblazer, I'm so sorry. Your car is the most aerodynamic in the race. <laughs> Probably. Actually, I think that she does the most aerodynamic. Have you seen that thing? It's like a moving ramp. The Tyrus are up here? No way. Wow. You should do a burnout on a Prius. Oh my god. You gotta throw some oil on the ground for those tires to spin. <laughs> oh my god, he's up here! Look! Toby Marshall on the. Oh, he got spun out. <laughs> that lasted all of like five seconds. Well, we're still, we got one more lap after this, so he still has time. Wall ride, wall ride, let's go. Nice. The Torno, we got all of, we got all of them up here. A brown and a PT Cruiser, can you imagine? Bruh, bruh. Catch up and strip stream is on. Any car can be up there. Not a bullet. <laughs> or a Voltic. I wouldn't say any car. The car still has to have a decent top speed to be up here. Reason being, like, some cars, for example, um, we did long haul last week. What car was it that it was speed limited for some reason? Like, you were slip streaming the car in front of you and it, 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 it didn't have the top speed to pass the car in front of you, even with Slipstream. Well, like, Max, I forgot what, what car was it. Anybody remember from the stream last Saturday? I forgot. But, yeah, I told myself I would never pick that car again. <laughs> I forgot the car. That's great. Oh, Aguera guy is back here. It was, oh yeah, it was the GTT. Yep, the GTT. Turn! I had understeer. Oh, that's why. My spoiler's broken. I was like, why is this thing handling so much horse all of a sudden? That's why. Gotta respawn again. My Probably not the best choice for long haul, then. <laughs> Look at the handling. With the spoiler broken, like, it understeers like crazy. That's like a completely different car. The Vector W8. That's the one Doug reviewed, right? The red one? Yeah, that'd be a cool addition.
Opinion on the Chevy EV1. I don't know what that is. I have to look it up. I'm gonna respawn here shortly. Shortcut. I don't know where to respawn. I'm at the respawn at uh, Sandy Shores again. Snow corner. Oh, those bushes will get you. That's the Aston Martin Victor. That's something else. I think he's talking about the Vector, not the Victor. You should have used other cars. Eh, I mean, I have this in Toronto and all that, but it is what it is. I would like to have used that XXR, but I don't own that on this account. And I wasn't going to buy it just for this race. It's like 2.3 mil plus upgrades. You know, like at what, 2.7 ish? Almost $3 million. It wasn't really worth the investment. <laughs> Have you heard the exhaust of the new Cadillac LMDH? No, I have not. Stupid stuff. Smack, $2 super chat. Appreciate it, dude. He says, it would be my dream if they added a Chrysler 300. I don't know why we didn't get that with the Drug Wars update. I mentioned that in one of my videos. They gave us, you know, the... the, the uh, it's, it's obviously... They had, they had some, like, Breaking Bad references in this DLC, right? With the RV, with the livery. Um, so, I don't see why they didn't give us Walter White's Chrysler 300. They didn't give us the, um, his Pontiac Aztec, which I know is stupid and a terrible car, but it would have been a fun meme car in GTA, kind of like the Chevrolet or the Prius, right? I'm respawning there, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't see why, why we didn't get that for this. So, this would have been the perfect update for that. Does the Entity MT have the active spoiler? No, it does not. And it has slow handling flies, yay! It's, it's literally the XXR, but Mark II. It's the XXR Mark II, that car. It has the, copied and pasted the same handling, the same flags. Boxer was just super lazy with it. That was a Dodge Charger? No, it wasn't. You're thinking of Challenger, which was Walter's Jr.'s car, but Walter White drove a black Chrysler 300 and it was the SRT8 I think Aztec with HSW oh my god if you watch Doug's video Doug Demiro's video on the Pontiac Aztec they had an option where you can get he showed a picture of it you can just google it of like a camper like tent that would pop out of the back of the Aztec Imagine how cool that would have been as an upgrade. <laughs> that would have been, oh man, would have been awesome. That's, that's a good car for JT Online. Like, so many possibilities with customization for that thing. Oh my god. Who's in first? Oh, we are. <laughs> this guy and I are here, top two, okay. I was like, I said third, and I was like, what? Dark Angel? Oh, okay, true. You think Rockstar will release GTA 6 Online as its own game along with a version of story mode? That's a good question, considering what they did with uh, the one for next gen. Uh, if you're asking my opinion, I think personally that they're, they're not going to make it separate. That's what I think. I think it's going to be the same game that you buy. And the reason being uh, because I think Rockstar only did that so that people that already played story mode... Because remember, it was a third console generation. So they pretty much figure everybody has played story mode by now. They don't want to have to buy it all over again. So that's why they sold that edition, and also it's less money, which also gives more of an incentive to keep playing GTA Online. <laughs> so, um, to answer your question, I I'm gonna say no. I, I don't think it's gonna be a separate game you buy. I think it's gonna be all together. What time is it for you? 
asking from Australia. Uh, currently it is 11.34 p.m. This is Eastern Time Zone. Save enough money for a new car. Need another car guy's opinion. I'm stuck between a 2021 Supra 3.0. That's a lot of money you saved there, jeez. <laughs> for a... Oh, a new car! I, th I read first car, I'm so sorry. I was like, man. A a, 20, a 2021 Supra as a first car? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend that. <laughs> okay, you mean a new car. Um, so I, I, I see that you, that you definitely want something Japanese. Um, the, if you can get the manual Supra, I would probably go with that. But I, I, I was going to start suggesting like Lexus or... Lexus is also good. I'll, I'll, the LC is the LC 400, I think. That that's a beautiful car. I wouldn't mind owning one of those, but they're just too much money. But between those two, I would definitely save a Supra. Then again, it depends on if you're looking for practicality or not, because this the the WRX has four doors, right? So, I mean, if, if you have you know a, a child or whatever <laughs> you know you definitely don't want to get the Supra <laughs> I burn out in a plane oh my god T technically you can full boost on the turbine lock up the brakes LS400 LS is the tank for, for life. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we're good. No! No. Oh, darn it. I saw that coming. Come on. Come on, T20. Need some slipstream. Yes, 7. You know, yes, it's mixed with the F1 long tail, but it's the closest we have in game. You know, a dedicated Selena 7 would be a really good addition to the game. I would love that. Where am I from? Florida. But I have a little bit of an accent because my parents are Hispanic. Specifically from Cuba, so. There you go. I do speak Spanish. Spanish. Espanol. I would own a Ford SVT Lightning with a supercharger wine as the first truck. That's like that's a good truck. GMC Cyc the Cyclone's also a good truck. The older Ram with the Viper engines, the SRT10, also a good truck. Um, yeah, I mean they're all great. Even the, like also the 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 first gen. Ford F-150 Raptor, also a great choice, even though those are still very expensive, because there's a bit of a cult following for those, so. A, 20, a newer 2500 truck in GTA, yeah. Yeah, we need that. But you see, Rockstar, most of their dev team is, is from the UK, so <laughs> that's why, uh, you know, they don't really like big trucks like that. That's why I assume they haven't added one in. Even though we did get the Guardian, that's probably going to be the closest you're ever going to get. You know, in terms of like a big truck, like a big pickup truck. Alright, the end is near! Okay, see if I can get the wall ride right. Oh no, oh no. Oh no! I messed it up in the end! No, no, top three, top three, top three, top three. Well, I'll take it. Darn it! I went too far to the right, trying to get close to the left, and I missed it. I missed it. I slid on the damn door. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> That's funny though. Oh well. Oh well. Lexus, you say you mean this? Yeah, Lexus is a great car. They're super reliable, good looking, and the performance models are fantastic. GSF is a good one to look at. ISF. 
any of the actual F models, not just the F Sport models, I would look into those. But bro folded like an omelet. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Oh, man. Mr. Bean won! Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Bean won the race in a Lambo. It's fantastic. Unfortunately, plot armor only got Toby Marshall and the Agera R in the fourth. But hey, still top five. I guess that somewhat counts. Mr. Bean the Coat, right? <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the movie slash TV show Carmate stream and, of course, the events we had afterwards and the racing playlist. If you want to join the next one, all the infos down below. Next week will be PS5 and then the week after that, Series X because we alternate between both each week. Again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you in the next one.